Hello everybody, I'm back again. So today I am here to share these um, envelopes I had shown, I think, on my last video. And um, it's a total of three, but one of them somebody had requested. So I need to find the email and find out uh, if they're still interested. So that one's not in this batch. But um, yeah, I guess I'll start with this one. And I use this as a lack uh, elastic uh, lace thingy to close it. I'm going to do the same thing for the other one. But this is the front. And this is the back. And they came out a little fluffy <laughs> than what I wanted to. Um, but first I should say hi to everybody. I hope everybody's doing great. Um, I know I'm doing good. Um, and so let's get into it. So I'll put these out. So this, as I showed in the other video, it's a little envelope. So you can take this out and use it in a journal. So it's an envelope. And I don't think I put anything in there. No, I didn't. So it's just a cute little envelope that you could just put, uh, you know, with a paper clip. Which I have one of these, uh, um, I think they're called Bulldog uh, pins. So yes, so here, that's the... Um, the back of that and then there I went ahead and added this um, cute tag that I made sorry guys for moving the camera so I'm gonna pop that there and then it's got this cute little um, specimen um, I guess specimen card and it had a window but instead of adding you know butterflies or anything I added a little cute little girl there and I love the way that turned out so that's that and then this is the wallet I went ahead and added this piece of uh, burlap added a little bit of collage in there as you can see a cute little flower that I punched out and then in here it's just holding this little um, this was a tag but I turned it into like a little journaling card I was going to pop it in here. This is a cute little envelope. These are from Tracy Fox. I went ahead and shrunk it though. Um, so that I could uh, make it fit here. So those just pop in there. Should I should put them on their side, huh? If I can. Okay, we'll just leave them like that for now. And so that's the back. And then inside, I don't think I did anything to it, but it's got a little tag. I mean, I'm sorry, a journaling card, a little tag here. And then here is the where the ID goes. And if I could stick my hand in there, my finger I should say. This is the little ID that I made. And so that just pops in there. It's got some acetate. And then it lifts up and then here I have another little collage going on with some of this this was a like a little doily so I just um, added part of it and then here you just have these two little pieces I just tuck in, tuck in there for journaling space of course and then in here it's just holding these pieces of ephemera So this one was a little tall, so that's why I laid it down on its side. And then on the inside, I don't think I put anything inside. I was going to look for some like vintage money, but I did not. Sorry for that. But anyways, that's that one. So that goes on the back. Oh, wait. Pop that one over there too. So then this is the front. As you can see, I just did a bunch of layering and stitched some buttons, and then I just glued it to the the flap here. Now here this little window also has um, acetate and I just added this little image but you can change it you know and add you know someone else's and you could always just turn it around if you want. But that goes there and so here on the inside I have just gonna pop everything out. So it's a two pocket envelope as you can see. So we'll pop that to the side. I really love these guys. I found these, apparently I made them, I don't know when, but obviously it was a long time ago because I don't remember. 
but I made them out of that uh, sewing patterns. Um, I remember that idea came from uh, Angie. Um, and so I went ahead and grabbed them and started playing with them. So this is how I decorate it. I just added some of this um, paper on the back. And then that cute little girl. And it opens. And so we have... Um, I guess I should put it down. This is just, it's not a pocket, just a collage going on there. But I love the little itty bitty flower. <laughs> and then here, just did a collage of um, different pieces uh, that I had left over and just a little label. Here, you just have a cute little journaling card that goes in there on the back. We have another one, so you could put your, your, um, your little notes and stuff. So this is a little trifold, so it opens like that. I went ahead and added a pocket in the center, and it has a cute little tag and then this um, image. So you can journal on the back. So those, whoops, 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 so almost pushed it to the floor. So these just tuck in there, putting them at the same time. And there you go. And so then on this side, I went ahead and added a little book page pocket that I just tore a piece. And there's a cute little tag right there. And so that pops in there. And then on the back I left it open so I have another cute little um, journaling card. So that just pops in there. I love the way these turned out guys. I need to make me like um, um, more because I'm not going to lie. I wanted to keep it. <laughs> I tend to do that with some of my ephemera. But yes, I love the way that turned out. So that is a little trifold thingy. Pop that there. And then this one is just a cute little uh, journaling card with a tuck. You got these two itty bitty pieces tucked back there. And then you flip it over and it's a little envelope. You got a cute little image there of some beautiful kids. Grow positive. And then, did I put anything inside? Of course not. So there's nothing in there, but you could put stuff in there. <laughs> So that's that one. Pop it there. And then I have this cute little envelope. And everything's made out of book pages aside for that little trifold thingy. So this one I left it blank because you can glue it down if you want. Or it could just be, you know, a floating item there. And I just did a bit of collaging there. Which I love the way those turned out. I did add Velcro to those. And then you just have these um, pieces in there. So those tuck in there, and I just put half of a Velcro. Just, um, you know, only what I need it. And it'll keep it closed. So that goes there. You know what, I'm gonna move this over here because I feel like it's gonna fall. And this is an, another little envelope that I made. This is using the Your Creative Studio and all the goodies that she puts in these little baggies, stamps and, um, you know, washi tape and all kinds of stuff. Well, I've been collecting them and so I, the other day I was playing with them and this is one of the pieces that I uh, made I just wanted a collage and these are all pieces from her except for this um, this piece of uh, ledger paper this is an, an old piece of ledger paper I'm not sure where I got it from but it's like very brittle so I've been using it for collage and so I popped one apart here but all these other pieces are from her the stamps from her I just added a little bit of lace some of this like uh, this brown uh, I guess I want to say shipping paper but it's thin <laughs> I'm not sure paper and then on this side I had a uh, I don't know it's like a booklet it's um, it's an Asian book that was gifted to me by my friend Miss P and so I've been using it to collage and it's like tissue paper or something but it's old so I've been just tearing pieces and using it to collage these pieces again this one's from your creative studio this washi that I use is from your creative studio this this image here is from Artie Mays it was a tag and I just tore the top part and just popped that there so I love the way that turned out and I don't think I put anything in there either, no. But see, these are nice, um, sturdy little envelopes from your creative studio. So I've been starting to use those. I'm going to pop that there. And so, yes, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight pieces of ephemera and if you want to include the envelope nine so I will put this aside and fix this later and then I'm going to pull this one now hopefully they don't fall so this is the other little uh, cute envelope that I had made again it's using book pages um, but let's start in the back again so this one is not an envelope the one that's hanging here this is a corner tuck so you would glue there there and you just pop things in the back so that's what that is and it's holding again by another little bulldog clip pop that over there and it's a little different than the other one but there you go see I, I already stretched this out a little bit sorry this I try not to make them so fat and for some reason I don't succeed <laughs> so but let's this go this is again a wallet and this one I did it different I went ahead and added an image a little bit of a, a little uh, snippet that I had made a while back stitched the button there I added some of this fabric to the back just to give it more uh, stability to the to the spine and then here we open and so in the front here we have these two pieces that you can just collage this one did get a little bulky um, not bulky but what's the word I'm looking for I didn't like that but I love the pe the piece so oh this one I did put something I should have put at least one of these on the other one but that pops in there and then this again is the um, sorry my hands are shaky I I have issues <laughs> that's the ID that I made for this one and this also has acetate so the image will be protected and won't fall out and here I have another little uh, oh this piece that I was saying see you would use it like that this is something similar and I used it as a as a tuck pop that there so here I just have this piece of ephemera that tucks in there and then on the bottom you have if I can get them you have these pieces that just tuck in there was this because this one's a little taller I didn't have to lie that one down and then we already went through that <laughs> and that's it but yeah I love the way that turned out too I love it with the pocket but I love this one so I'm just gonna keep messing with them so I'm just gonna pop that in there for now and then you got another one of these large tags that I made cute little girl isn't she it's adorable and then here this is a different piece than the ones on the other one this is just a little cute little insert that I made just added that label there and when you open it this is what's the inside you have a little side tuck there and I just added one of these little journaling um, cards that pop in there and then in here is just a little pocket that gives you one two three four pockets so you just glue the side and then I have this tag and I think this, these are from uh, the the old vintage design oh my god I'm going blank that's what happens when you don't do videos as often <laughs> and then I have another tag in here so that just pops in there and then I have another tag here these are all from different um, different um, digi kits I just can't remember the names but um, as you can see there's the cute little pocket I love the paper I love collaging the different kinds of uh, invoices and letters and I don't know I just love the way that looks so that's that one and yeah that book is too fat and then we showed that one right so now I will try to pop this back there I'm going to put this aside because it makes it really bulky and then this again this is this side a little bit different than the other one 
And this one again, you could remove the image. You just have that cute little girl there. And it also has, uh, uh oh, okay, I need to fix that. I pulled it too hard, but that's that one. And then here, I'm just gonna pull these pieces. And move that to the side. So then here, I have this little, um, I guess it's like a coin envelope, but I ended up cutting the top, left the part open, and it has a cute little um, tag. It just pops in there. These are really cute. I've been making something similar. Okay, I need to not distract myself, but I've been making uh, different ones that I, um, okay, stop. Focus, Patty. So then we have this one here. <laughs> I really like this one. I love that mushroom um, stamp. And this one again opens. This does not have uh, acetate. But that's a cute little tag that just pops in there. But I love that. So this could be a little floating pocket. You could also glue it down if you want. You can do whatever you want with it. And then there's another one of these little uh, cute ones that I did with the um, sewing pattern. And this one opens, and we have that cute little girl right there. Isn't she cute? She's adorable. Here, I have the same pocket as the other one, only the other way around. So our tucks are on this side. So you have this cute little journaling card that tucks back there. And then you have this one in the front. I can't remember who these are from, but they're so cute. And again, I did something similar. Just, you know, got various uh, pieces of... Uh, lace a little bit of fabric on the bottom and I just love the way that looks and then when you open it you got the middle pocket there so there's a little collage for that one again we have a journaling card and a tag and this is from um, Shabby Dabby Duda this I'm not sure some um, yeah, some kits I can recognize where they're from, but some of them I can't. But anyways, here's another one. I know these pieces uh, came from um, Artie Mays, one of her kits. And on the back, we got this cute little tag. And that just pops there. And then in here, I made another little tag for it. And I used, again, another tag from um, Artie Mays and I just went ahead and uh, tore around it and then I just added the word reflect so that's it guys these are my two little projects that I just finished and I love these anyways I can't keep them I know so then we have one two four five six seven okay this one only has seven it doesn't have eight like that one why one two three four five six seven eight yes this one has did I miss anything hold on guys no one two three four five six seven so we need to add another one guys see these are some of the ones that i'm doing i'm going to add this one um these are little coin envelopes that as you could see some of them i opened them on the side some of them i opened them on the top this one I'm, doesn't have anything inside yet i've been doing a lot of these just you know making a little stash for me and this is the only one that's finished so i'm just going to pop that there this again is old uh, brittle uh, ledger paper which I glued it down good but hopefully it doesn't peel off but I thought that was really cute the way this came out so I'll just add this because it's supposed to have eight pieces and so you just tuck it there and this again you can glue it down or it could just be a cute little floating um, pocket and you would just um, you know journal on the back so so then that one goes there so yes, eight pieces plus the large envelope, then that will be nine pieces. But um, these are it. Um, I love the way they turned out. And I hope you guys like them too. 
Um, so they are listed on my Etsy if anybody's interested. Um, I just wanted to share them real quick and let you guys know that they're in there. Um, other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. You guys take care. God bless. Bye.